There is only one thing that I regret not doing earlier in my career. And as soon as I changed this, I literally doubled my profit and I took twice as much home from my business. Even then, I see almost no one on YouTube talk about it. And it's therefore almost something that every beginner misses when they are starting in business in general. That one thing is building not one, not two, not even three, but four or more offers for their AI agency. Let's get into it. What I see almost every AI agency do, especially the ones just starting out, is that they are selling one thing. And that one thing might be voice agents, could also be chatbots, or maybe they just have some solution for a specific niche that they are selling. So they're taking one of these things and that's the thing that they are selling. And then they're just making a price tag of that of let's say 500 bucks a month. So what they have is that they have one offer, one thing that they're selling for 500 bucks a month. And that's kind of all they're doing. From that 500 bucks, let's say that they are spending a hundred dollars a month on AI cost and just running it. That means that they are making $400 profit a month per client. And let's on average say that each client stays for 10 months to make it easy. That means that they are making 4,000 bucks in LTB. And let's say that the cost to acquire a customer, this is something that they spend on marketing or on ads. Let's say that the CAC cost to acquire a customer, let's say a thousand bucks. That means they make $3,000 per client that they sign, but this $3,000 profit takes 10 months for them to get. That is how most AI agencies work. That is that they spend a thousand bucks on marketing and that becomes 4,000 bucks over the span of 10 months. The problem is that these businesses are leaving money on the table. They could make so much more if they had four or more offers. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why that is and also how to build the best possible offer for your AI agency. We can start with the $500 a month voice agents. You shouldn't stop selling what you're currently selling, but why stop selling there? If you didn't know already, the easiest customers to sell to are the ones that you have already sold to once. So we are not only going to stop at one offer. This is what I'm going to call offer one. We are also going to add a another offer. So they're going to get everything in offer one, but they are also going to get a chatbot on their website, just like a standard website widget. They're also going to get their SMS automated and their Insta automated and their WhatsApp automated. If you provide all of this, you can charge more. Instead of 500 bucks, let's charge 800 bucks a month. Now we have two offers. That means that we can go out to all of our existing clients that we have already on offer one and we can ask them, would these services be interesting as well? And you will see that, of course, not all of them are going to say yes, but a lot of them will. And that is because selling to someone that you have already sold to once that have already bought is the easiest customers. It's the lowest hanging fruit that you can sell to. But we are not going to stop there. You're going to create a third offer that we call offer three. In this offer, you're going to include everything that's inside of offer one and offer two. But but on top of that, you are also going to include Google Ads, Facebook Ads. And for this, you can now charge $2,000 a month. If someone picks this offer over this offer, you're now making four times the amount of money. And we don't stop there. This is a bonus tip that I see so many AI agencies could do that they don't for some reason. And that is to license their model. Let's say that someone doesn't want to pay monthly. You will have clients like that. You can just say, sure, we have a package for that for $10,000 upfront. You get our entire system built out for you. You get the rights to that system so you can run it. You will manage it yourself. You will get videos that explains how to use the system. And then you can basically license the model. Now it's starting to look like a much, much better business. Because what will happen where you've before made $3,000 in LTV, when you start upselling these packages, you'll now start making way more in lifetime value. But here's the most insane thing. When you start upselling to your already existing clients and when you just start adding offers on top of each other, your cost per acquisition stays the same. And it's not unrealistic that you go from something like $4,000 in lifetime value to $7,000 in lifetime value. This right here would be a good business. You are 4xing your money from here 
to here. If cost per acquisition stays the same, you are 4xing your money from here, which means that you're making $3,000 in profit. But if our lifetime value is now $7,000 and the CAC, the cost to acquire the customer in something like ads, cold emailing, however you get your clients, it's costing you $1,000 to land that client. You go from $3,000 in profit to $6,000. All because you just added additional things to sell to your current clients. So how do you actually do this in practice? Well, when you go on a meeting with a potential client, you look at the packages you have and you ask them questions. You ask them, okay, are you spending a lot of time picking up your phone? They say yes great they at least qualify for the voice agent then you ask them do you also get clients reaching on sms and instagram and whatsapp they're gonna say yes and sometimes i miss those that means they qualify for this one then you find out how their financial situation is can they even afford this package can they afford this package and you find out what offer is actually the best for them. What many people don't realize is that this is also better for the client because all of a sudden you are helping them with things that they need. If they then say, well, I would also like more leads, then you can look into Google and Facebook ads for them on top of what you're already offering. And if they say, but I don't want to pay you monthly for it, then you have the licensing model. But we don't even stop there. You are also going to add what is called downsell offers. So let's say that someone can't afford your $500 a month voice agent, but they can afford something like $97 a month. Instead of a voice agent, you can just provide the CRM or maybe also some Google review automations. This doesn't cost as much as a review agent, but all of a sudden your close rates are going to sky rocket because before if someone couldn't afford the $500 a month voice agent what you might have done is said okay but we can also do $300 we can also do $100 but here's the thing you never negotiate on price never offer the same thing for the same amount of money why will you dilute your service instead provide them something that is less this is not a voice agent it's not the same thing as you offered before it's also one fifth of the cost and for that then they get these two things which might be a better fit for them you might say well albert that's cool and all but i don't know what to sell we have inside of our one percent community which is our close community a bunch of ai agents that you can sell that's proven to be valuable to businesses if you're interested in that then i'll leave a link right below in the description so having more offers gives you way more wiggle room to either go up or down in price and having this tool will not only make you more money and make you more profitable it will also increase your close rates because you can close more deals and that's why all of the biggest companies in the world do this when you go to mcdonald's and you buy a burger they're gonna ask do you want a menu with that or do you want fries with that or if you book a plane ticket they're gonna ask do you want to pay something additional to choose your seat even though you might not recognize it and the next time you run into that thing you're gonna think ah okay this is what they are doing Another thing that is very underrated is that this 10K package right here makes this $500 a month package right here seem way, way cheaper. And that is called a price anchor. This basically anchors the price. It sets a tone for, okay, this is all of the things that they offer. This one right here is pretty cheap compared to this one. So I'm gonna go with this one. So this will also increase closing percentage. Now you get the point of why having this is a good idea. But what you don't know is that it's actually needed in order to scale. If we have a competitor here, and let's say that in profit per client that he closes, he's making $3,000. And then there's you. You profit $6,000 because you have better offers. So per client that you close, you profit $6,000. When it comes to scaling in your market, the number one advantage that you can have over your competitors that you can afford to have higher CAC because you have higher profit. You're making more per client. This means that you can run more ads, you can run more cold emails, you can afford paying higher prices in order to land clients, where a competitor needs a low CAC in order to be profitable. And that means that you'll be able to scale like this and your competitors at some point are going to scale like this because all of a sudden they cannot increase the ad spend they cannot increase marketing you can spend twice as much to get a customer there as they can and that also means that you can scale to 2x of what they can this will scale your business this will make you more money if you have any questions then make sure to leave them in the comments below i read every single comment and if you found it valuable remember to subscribe and like it helps a bunch as always guys have a wonderful rest of your day albert out